Hello everyone. Today will be the interesting session since we are going to consider scenario 3 in order to draw the fire pump performance curves. We are going to skip this particular portion since it was already discussed in our earlier video. So we are going to look at scenario 3. We are going to consider one example. As you can see on your screen, the water supply is from above ground water tank and the static pressure available is 33 psi and the building is protected with wet pipe sprinkler system and based on the hydraulic calculations we require 1000 gpm at 125 psi at pump discharge so we don't have any option now to choose the fire pump so how we are going to choose the fire pump this is the main agenda in this particular slide so now we require 1000 gpm at 125 psi demand whether we can take 500 gpm pump or 750 gpm pump or we need to take 1000 gpm pump only to meet these demand and pressure requirements so first of all if we consider 500 gpm so 500 gpm will be 100% rated capacity so it will deliver 150% to satisfy NFPA so 500 multiply by 150 it will be around 750 GP M. So 750 GPM is less than our system demand which is 1000 GPM. So we cannot consider this pump. Let us look at 750 GPM pump now. 750 GPM pump will be delivering 150% of 750 GPM will be around 1125 gpm so this pump can be considered and also 1000 gpm since our requirement is 1000 gpm so this pump can also be considered however we will discuss in next slide by considering 750 gpm option based on the manufacturer you know data or curve which shows the shutoff head pressure at 150% flow so let us look in our next slide let us start now we will again show the example to you and here we have option 1 fire pump data given by the manufacturer as you can see here manufacturer curve data for the pump the capacity is 750 gpm at 115 psi shut off head will be 149 psi and at overload means at 150% of 750 gpm which will be 1125 gpm at 80 psi so this is the data provided same thing we have incorporated in the graph so here we have shut off at 149 psi we marked here and at 750 gpm we marked uh, on the graph at 115 psi and at 150% of 750 gpm uh, we have marked on the graph at 80 psi so we joined all these three points now we need to carefully look whether this particular pump can be used or not since you know we have 1000 gpm at 125 psi maybe we can straightforwardly say that this pump cannot be used However, there is one more thing you need to check that is since we have static pressure here 33 psi and the pump here if you see <coughs> it is providing and the pump if you look at this performance curve it is providing at 1000 gpm 92 psi. So now we will just put these details 
on our right hand side of the screen so here this particular pump is providing for 1000 gpm it will be giving only 92 psi head you can see here we have already marked on performance curve so when it is giving 92 psi head 1000 gpm is satisfied however we need to check this pressure also so since already available static pressure from the tank is 33 psi if you add to this pump head 92 psi which will be about 124 psi so 124 psi is less than our system pressure required you can see on the question itself we required 125 psi so we are getting 124 psi so this pump cannot be used in our project and here you need to check one more thing even this pressure is satisfied then also this might not work because if you see the shutoff head also the shutoff head for this pump is 149 psi if you add uh, you know the static pressure it will be about 150 plus 30 183 or 182 182 psi 182 psi is the shutoff pressure which is more than 175 psi why we are considering this 175 psi because most of the pipes and fittings and sprinklers and other equipments are you know manufactured with 175 psi rating only so this will not work also so this pump cannot be used in our scenario let us look in our next slide whether 1000 gpm pump can be used in our project or not see we are going to check whether option 2 1000 gpm at 115 psi is suitable for our project requirements or not as per this performance curve it appears that this particular pump cannot be used however i will explain you this pump can be used based on our system demand requirements so please listen carefully till the end so now you can see our requirement is 1000 gpm at 125 psi so we have drawn the pump curve based on the manufacturer data this was already explained in our previous slides as well so i'm ignoring now and next our system demand requirement is 1000 gpm at 125 psi so 1000 gpm at 125 psi it looks like this particular point is above the pump curve so straight away we cannot say that this pump cannot be used or this pump cannot be selected because here as per the project details the static pressure available at the pump suction is 33 psi okay so we need to add 33 psi to the uh, you know 115 psi why because i will let you know since this pump is selected 1000 gpm at 115 psi so at 1000 gpm it will give only 115 psi so i will uh, just take my pen tablet and we will work out how this pump can be selected see now here we have already static pressure which is 33 psi and now we will add for this particular pump at 1000 gpm this pump can give 115 psi pressure so it will be around 148 psi which is more than 125 psi and for shutoff head also we need to add this 33 psi to 129 psi we are going to get 161 psi which is less than 
175 psi since i already told this is the maximum rating for most of the pipes and you know fittings so this is satisfied and this first condition is also satisfied so this pump can be used or selected for our project but one more thing i want to highlight you previously i told that this pump based on this curve straight away can be rejected in case if the static pressure is zero see if the static pressure is zero then 0 plus 115 psi will be 115 psi only so at 1000 gpm the pressure will be 115 psi but our demand at 1000 gpm is 125 psi that's why we can reject this pump but in our case we have static pressure 33 psi so we can select this option 2 i hope you understand the concept of performance curves in next class we are going to discuss about the fire pump enclosure protection since nfpa 20 requires protection for the pump enclosure we will discuss in next class thank you once again bye